Okay, so we're going to try, uh, we're going to play around with Loft a little bit more just to show you that you can create or connect more than just circles to each other. Um, there are lots of different shapes you can make, and OnShape will figure out how to connect those two shapes if you create them in different planes. So let's uh, get right to it. <clears throat> um, I'm going to sketch. Let's start out sketching on the front. And instead of a circle, let's do a rectangle. And uh, corner rectangle. There's a rectangle. Fine. And if you recall that in order to use the loft tool, I'm going to have to right click, select isometric so that I can see all the planes and uh, select a plane, in this case front. Oops. I right click on it and say offset plane. Remember that uh, it gives you this window up here, and um, I can say how far away I want this thing. So I'm going to make it three inches. And you can see that the plane is, so now we have this plane one, and it's three inches above uh, the front plane. Okay, and um, now I'm going to click on the cube and look at it sort of square again. And... Uh, Kind of a, a shape that we don't use too much. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to sketch, and I'm going to sketch on this plane one, this, this new sketch. Uh, it looks like a circle, but uh, there's a choice for an ellipse. We haven't used ellipses too much. Uh, but when I do this, first of all, notice that where I move my cursor in the first place uh, changes which is the long and the sh or, or sort of the thin and thick uh, axis of the ellipse. Uh, so um, I'm just going to stretch this out a little. And then now, once I've clicked, it's going to allow me to choose how uh, big to make this other axis. So let's make it kind of narrow, make it pretty elliptical. What do they call that? Eccentricity, I think. Uh, OK. So now we've got, if we look at, uh, I'm going to go ahead and check mark this. And if we look at this from the side, we can see that we have two different shapes in two different planes. And now we can use the loft tool to connect them. So here's my loft tool. And I'm going to look at this from the side. But we are going to connect from this shape to that shape. And that's what it does. It, it connects, um, you know, fills in in sort of a tapered way uh, these two shapes. And let's just check mark that. And um, that's what you have. Kind of a neat shape. Um, and uh, whoa, sorry about that. Okay. Um, but I also, uh, I always like to put holes in stuff. Because um, most of what we do is going to require not just making a shape, but uh, removing some material to um, create the final desired shape. So let's look at this from the front again. And um, let's sketch. Let's sketch on here. And let's, I don't know if we can do this. Inscribe polygon. No, let's just make it simple. Um, let's make a center point circle. And uh, we'll check mark that, and then we'll go on the other side, and um, whoops, and let's make another sketch, and uh, we'll sketch on here, and I'm going to use my line tool and just see what this is like. This will do. All right, we made a triangle, and now. We've got two shapes, my little circle, you can kind of see back under there a little bit, yep, and then my rec my triangle here, so now that we have two shapes in two different planes, we can use the loft tool to connect them. We're going to connect that, and it's, again, it's better to turn it around, and uh, we only want that, yes. But now, instead of add, we're going to say remove. And let's check it out. Got a hole in there. Let's look at it from the other side. 
Yeah, and it connected the circular shape to the um, triangular shape. Pretty amazing. Really neat.